A lot of people see my situation and not think that I'm not high function. What situation? See my situation. That's a very vague question. And this for you. What situation are you referring to that they're looking at and thinking is not high function? Just my life. Your your life entirely or your life in my life, my life, my life. See, don't deflect. Let's stay here. Your life entirely or your life in relationships? Uh, Both, really. And they think that you're low functioning. No, I don't. You just said people see your life and think you're not high functioning. The opposite of that would be low. Functioning. No, no, no. Okay. So here you go. You're trying to take my intentions no, no, no. away from this is, can I, can I correct it? Yeah, go ahead. Or can I give you more, yeah, some uh, more information? Heck yeah. So I'm not married, yeah. right? I have beautiful children. How many? Eight. I, was, I thought I, I didn't do my research. I thought it was four, but eight. Okay. No, baby. Cool. It's, it's By how eight. many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. No. Bye. No, you don't need any more kids, Cam Newton. You got eight kids with three different women. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, you make a mistake with the first woman. All right. You get her pregnant. Cool. You did it seven more times with two different, two other women. That's just irresponsible, bro. That is irresponsible as hell. Straight up. And I always wonder how athletes always end up in a situation with multiple kids and multiple women because they got money. So I always assume, like, you can afford condoms. So I just don't understand how y'all end up in this situation. Condoms don't cost more than, like, $5. So I don't get it. But, you know, who am I to judge? Multiple women? What's the intent? I just want God to bring them. I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. And you have, so you just... Because my point is this. My desire to get married... Mm -hmm is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as you had said, Dr. Bryan, you said it, I didn't say it, I will agree. I'm just taking my time. You're not taking your time. I am, though. You're being very action-based. You're not taking your time. You're being very action-based. I'm taking my time. You're being very action-based. You have eight kids yeah. with three different women. Yes. You are creating, procreating, and multiplying. That is not taking your time. You're being very selectively active. Mm. Okay? So you're creating, mm -hmm. and disclaimer, the kids are innocent. They are beautiful and amazing. Anything I say has nothing to do with them babies because I, I can't wait to be a mom, and I love, 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 love the kids, period. Um, but you are proactively choosing where you want to be active at and where you want to take your time. Mm -hmm. You want to take your time in having a wife because of your own fears. But you will, and I say this with all respect and love, what I'm about to say next, okay, Cam? But you will selfishly create broken families, even if you're in their life and you're a proactive father, and I believe you're an amazing daddy. I can only imagine with just your presence and, and knowing you thus far. But these families are still broken. Every child cannot have Papa in the house with. She's dead ass right. How are you you scared to get married, but you're not scared to get women pregnant? I don't understand the logic in that. That makes no sense. Even if you're rich, you want to protect your assets, so you're scared to get married. I get it. But how are you going to protect your assets when you're getting them pregnant? You got eight kids. Those women are already touching your assets. You're already giving them money. Because when you give them money for the kids, child support, you know the moms are taking some of that too. Don't be stupid. So if you really, really was trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't be getting multiple women pregnant. That's the logical way to think. Because if you're scared, you're scared of marriage, but you're not scared to get them pregnant. I don't understand that. Them. So some child, if not all, all will end up with some kind of deficit without daddy being there. Mm -hmm. Now, you chose to do that. I'm not saying you sat there and woke up one morning and said, I want to be selfish today, so I'm going to go make a baby. Not saying that at all. But those are selfish acts at the expense of your fear. So at what point do you feel the fear? Do it anyways. And yeah, that is a low-functioning behavior. To say that I am going to create these homes. Oh, let me go better. I'm going to build these houses and put kids and these beautiful women and kids in them, but I ain't going to create a home in them. I'm going to wait till I dissipate my fear to find a wife where I'm still gonna be fearful with because there's no such thing as not having some type of nerve or some type of feeling behind marrying somebody who you're spending your life with. And then I'm gonna build a home with her while all these other beautiful babies have houses. That's completely unfair and it's selfish. Just tell me when I can solve. Yeah, almost. That's. She right. She's right. I gotta give it to her. 
you have to understand that Cam Newton, you got money, and I'm sure you know you're a good father. You pick your kids up, whatever. But having a stable family, having a father in the home that the kids see every day, they see the two parent household. Like you don't understand how like effective that is for a child. They need to see both the parents. A man has to be in the household. What happens when your child needs you and you're with your other three other kids, your other seven other kids? A, a, a boy's first love, a boy's first um, hero is his dad. It's his father. It's the truth. That's why you see so many young kids out here messing up their lives, doing stupid stuff because they don't have a father. They don't have it. And you're out here procreating, making making multiple families, but you you can never have the attention on on the specific child because you gotta entertain seven other kids. Crazy. Completely unfair and that's selfish. And so yes, you're taking your time in this department, but you're not taking your time in this department, which means you're compartmentalizing. And compartmentalizing never works. Compartmentalizing hurts everybody involved. Everybody who's in this box and that box and this box and that box and this box. And then here you go over here trying to figure out what box you're going to feed or entertain or do. Then you're looking outside to figure out who's your next victim to put in the box. It's unhealthy. And it's, it's a huge dysfunction within our black community that I truly believe personally, statistically, mental health wise, and community wise, that black men would stop. Black men would what? Stop, stop doing that, that they would stop that dysfunctional behavior of compartmentalizing and creating houses, not homes, mm -hmm. and then finally a home with the wife. And then you have all these other houses that are homeless but you over here, at some point, when you do get a wife, if you do, I'm saying if that's what you want, you will. You'll get whatever you want. You're trying to create a home. Totally dysfunctional and extremely that's up. And then what happens when you get married? Let's say Cam Newton do get married. He got to pay his wife, that specific woman, a certain amount of attention. He gonna, he's going to have to give that woman and that new child, when he gets married and he has another child, he's going to have to give his wife all the attention specific attention and that new baby specific attention and then what happens to the eight other kids they get left out that's a broken home you have uh three four broken homes because when he get married his wife ain't gonna be having it when he's dealing with his other baby mamas i don't even know what women would want to marry cam new at this point with all them kids and baby mamas but good luck to you if you want to do that but imagine you're gonna get married again you're gonna have a new wife and a new baby because he wants more kids What's going to happen when you're paying specific attention to your new wife and your new kid? What happens to the eight other kids? What's going to happen? They're going to need you in their life, too, and you ain't going to be able to be there. Straight up. Epitome of selfish. Epitome of selfish. And I'm going to stop it right there. I agree with her. I think Cam Newton is hella selfish, um, irresponsible. As a man, understand that your presence is more important than your money and your child's life. Your presence is more important than money in your child's life. Remember that. Until next time, weatherman, I'm out. Peace.